Hello wonderful people, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel and it's time for another Extra Naughties monthly roundup. Time for another load of quick EP album compilation reviews. I'm covering the whole of January here in alphabetical order by way of artist or record label name as we always do and they're all linked below and at this point I just want to mention that up until now, with the special mentions I've been mentioning or listing, pretty much everything that I've come across in that given month. But from now on, I'm going to be mentioning just stuff which I think is worth a listen. You know, stuff which I didn't quite find enough to comment on myself, but which I think others could enjoy. So yeah, we'll be a lot shorter from now on, that list at the end of each video, but stuff which I think is worth it. But kicking off this instalment, we have the new EP from Biome, The Joker. Not gonna lie, this is right up there with my favourite Deep Dark and Dangerous EPs of the last couple of years. The production is fantastic, really deep and full and rounded, and the ideas are engaging, and we got a great range of sounds on show and a good atmosphere to the whole thing. I think a couple of them maybe go on for just a little bit too long, Maybe just a bit too long, but generally, what I love about this style, it's all here. Very solid EP here from Copycat, powerful stuff, and yeah, just some of the best material I've heard so far in 2021. Thinking of Out of Control, Trash, the title tune, Low Ride Friday for me in particular, and that's four out of seven, so quite a few. The majority here I'm really enjoying, but it is quite short-lived, you know, whilst I think that that gives it quite a combustible feel and the delivery here is emphatic for the most part. I do wish at points that it was a bit more fleshed out as a collection, just develop that little bit further because there's so much potential here, great ideas and production, everything, but feels like there's just a little bit more here to be unleashed. But you know, happy for the good we do get no doubt, very much grateful for that. Another very decent EP here from Crippling, very lively and electrifying in feel. Melodically on point, pretty much for the whole thing as well, I would say. Some ideas are a bit more run-of-the-mill in comparison with others, but the general standard here is just completely mad considering he's what? 15 or something ridiculous like that. Track 2 here, Laser Shoe in particular, is my favourite here and one of my favourite tracks of this year so far. Those oozy synths, so finely cut and properly juicy, bleepy bloopy rhythmy kind of number, but yeah. Right here, crippling, big potential, big future. New compilation from Eat Brain gets off to a really riveting start with the Dysphoria and IHR collab, but then after that doesn't really reach those heights again for me. You know, some good ideas on show here. Good production on show, but rare that they match all that well. I like the Shadow Secret and Mizo and Cutlow and Nice as well. So finishes quite strong, gets good towards the end, but for the most part, not a lot here I'm excited to go back to. A strong debut EP here or mini compilation for the newly formed Insidious crew. Standouts to me being the Veer and Blaster. Veer 1 is just classically sharp and cheeky and colourful Veer, and the Blaster is like a kind of rhythmy bop with a load of brilliant, brilliant melodic flavour to it. Like, definitely, definitely check that out if you like your rhythm to have a bit of, yeah, just a bit of life and jubilance to it, I would say. And the voice soul is also pretty good, it has some of the best moments on the EP, but points where the production is just a bit threadbare compared to other parts of the tune. And the second drop I find just a bit odd in comparison with the other heaviness we get there. But yeah, overall, it leaves me wanting more from this five. Bring it. Another mini compilation slash EP situation here from Inspected. Just a load of exceptionally well-produced bass music right here, to be honest. Very vivid feel to all the music here, once again on the label. My favourite would have to be the Trinist as a combination of idea and production. The opener here and I love how it develops and just kind of blooms and flowers and reveals more of itself as it goes on. And then the second drop of the Bad Twin I really really like as well, again as a kind of development or transformation, evolution, mutation, whatever. So yeah, a lot of good here. New EP from Jewel, and uh, yeah, not getting loads out of this one, especially compared to what I've heard from him before, and yeah, what others have heard from him before. Ideas aren't really anything that new for me, and it's kind of stuff that I feel like 
I've heard already before and his production has been fresher as well in the past and yeah I just don't know if there's much here that I want to hear again and again and the introductions and outros are probably my favourite part of it which you know I think says a lot considering the heaviness here is of course the focal point of the EP and we have three out of four of them being collaborations here when I think a completely solo EP for his Never Say Die debut on that front just may have worked better. New EP from Caval, really liking the kind of OG bro step feel that we get here, has a very particular 2010 to 2012 vibe, I think, for large parts of it. You know, need sharpening all round in the overall production and transitioning between sequences in particular, I would say. But I feel that that will just come with time and there's clearly a lot of potential here in his sound. In terms of my favourite on the EP, then I really like track 2, Outdated. You know, a lot of good melody in there and some good moments of surprise and whatnot. But yeah, generally just excited to see how his sound develops, really. New EP from Leo Tricks, and as you'll know, there have been points in the recent past where I found his music to be a bit flat, a bit muffled, but here... The freshness of sound is just ramped right up, you know, so bright and shiny and refined and it just sounds fucking good. You know, newly formed, kind of like a toy that's been packaged up for the first time and ready and good to go in the toy store, you know, looking all good and shining and gleaming and all of that. It just, it sounds class in the production. And, you know, a couple of ideas here that maybe could have had a bit more going on, you know, a bit more space and gaps being filled here and there and whatnot, but generally very exact and precise and also, importantly, good fun, which is what you want from that kind of bleepy bloopy read of me style, which I talked about before. Oh, and yeah, before I forget, the introduction to Endless Pain is iconic. New EP from Muerte, which is decent, really liking the design and texture of the sound we get here and I've realized that I kind of have done more and more over time as I've heard the Muerte sound. Very immersive feel to it and some good ideas here too. The first half more so I would say the kind of yeah the first couple of the four we get but yeah the sound quality definitely being the thing that I'm taking most from it and will keep me going back to it. Maybe track three aside at the collaboration with Why Not. But for me, just a matter of time, I think, before he has a release on Black Label or Round Table. Um, which rhymes. Yeah. Next up, my favourite audio on tap DP since volume nine, I would say. And yeah, something I enjoy about all of them here, and in particular the Inamore, a really nice windy feel to that one, a good flow and nice sounds on show. A bit weird, a bit kooky, all of that. And the Joe B, which has a nice dynamic and force to the sound and a lot of energy and quite in your face as well, which is good. But yeah, a solid little collection right here. After that, QZB, who have grown to become one of my favourite duos in bass music over the last couple of years or so. As you will know if you've watched my other Roundup videos from the past. And yeah, this is just everything they're about. Deep, immersive soundscape drum and bass music and the energy is on point and the ideas cut deep and it has just the right amount of bite to it and super sharp production. Electron Dub track 4 here would have to be my pick, incredible pace to it and if you have any kind of interest remotely in drum and bass then you have to check this out. This is it's where it's at. New EP I think debut EP from Rocketbox and I think you know Every now and then you find an underground EP and you're just like, fuck, I am so glad that I found that. And this EP covers quite a lot stylistically, so it's quite difficult to kind of narrow it down to a few things. But for me, a real range of great ideas here on show and a lot of bright and colourful and sharp design to go with that. You know, still work to be done undeniably on the production front in the transitioning from sequence to sequence and also just the overall fullness and roundedness of the sound in general. But yeah, an approach here that gets you excited and makes you happy. An amazing cinematic introduction here to kind of kick things off as well, which is fantastic. And yeah, honestly, it's great and you have to check it out. Another compilation from Rushdown and another good showing, I think, of some of the best that underground melodic dubstep has to offer. 
And if I'm being honest, I think with most of these, with practice and a few more releases under their belt, the kind of the Disciple Afterlife compilations, you know, that kind of range doesn't seem that far off. Still a way to go, I think, don't get me wrong, with a couple of a couple of factors here and there. But a lot of the composition, a lot of the production, a lot of the melodic elements we get here are really, really good. And for me, in particular, the surface really stood out. But you know, again, if I'm being real here, the potential's clear in all of them. New album from Side West, and quite simply, if you are someone who enjoys Future Garage, then you will enjoy this LP. All the kind of lively backdrops and moody vibes and gloomy soundscapery that comes with that genre. And yeah, then if you like that, if that's your thing, then you're going to like the LP. You know, not knockout memorable here, but just a very good listen if you like that kind of music and want something maybe a bit sad and reflective and melancholic, that kind of thing, which has a couple of other genres that dropped in as well, from trap to deep dub and wave, that kind of thing. So yeah, if that's for you, check it out. New Space Wizard EP is one that I'll be going back to for the production overall, and the particular sounds we get across it, and the weirdness of it as well, you know, it's kind of unsettling, but in a warm and welcoming way if you get me, like quite a cool contrast going on there, but nothing really memorable to me here by way of ideas. I think we have, you know, a nice wavy and wobbly feel to it and very fitting, I think, for a label run by Subtronics, I think you'll agree, but not one for earworms, I wouldn't say. New Sullivan King is just another subsidiary EP where I'm not entirely sure how it gets the green light at that level. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love his voice and always have, and I think there's loads of potential in using that elsewhere, um, you know, maybe other instrumentals, but with this production and the kind of blandness of the ideas we get here, that good is almost entirely lost in my opinion. And uh, yeah, when it comes to subsidiary discussion, I just, I'm probably just sounding like a broken record to be honest. New EP from Uber is a very up and down hit and miss kind of EP for me. Got tracks like Geeked Up, which are full of great sounds, and again, that thing of just loving the quirkiness of it. And then other moments which just really do bring the overall project down. The mixing, for example, in the Sizzy collab in the drops, I'm just like, you know, what is going on there? Not entirely sure, and the Milk argument vocal sample just doesn't really sit that well with me, if I'm being honest. But as a counter, you have stuff like the experimentation in the final track, the D&B, and the kind of range of his sound that we get here on the EP, and which we've got from him for the last couple of years. So, I mean, yeah, a kind of mix of good and not so good in almost equal measure. Yeah, that would sum it up for me. And ultimately, the new EP from Vault, which I wasn't going to cover, but had quite a few people, you know, quite a few requesting it, so... Um, yeah, not much to say really, pretty straightforward, basic, modern dubstep tunes, not much new here. Production is pretty rough in the heaviest moments across the board, and, you know, the dialed in collab is okay, but beyond that, not one I'm gonna be going back to. And finally, new EP from Val, which is another d and EP that you simply have to check out if you have any remote interest in the genre. High energy and intricate production, and very finely put together, and a kind of unnerving atmosphere running through the whole thing, which just really gets you in the mood. The middle part in particular of the collection, which is just so exciting and thrilling and compelling. But yeah, again, overall, another big recommend here if you are yet to hear it. But there we have it, the January 2021 edition of the Extra Naughties Monthly Roundup. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. But yeah, here we go, the special mentions from now on, as I said, which are going to just have the stuff that I'm really recommending and which I think are worth it. Not everything that I found, you know, practically everything that I found from a given month, just the stuff I think that is worth it. Going to put them up on the screen here for you all to see. Yep, if you want to note them down, take a screenshot, whatever, do what you want to do. Going to leave them up for a couple of more seconds. 
Yup. With regards to what I reviewed in this video, which ones did you enjoy, which others not so much? Are there any that I missed out? Drop all of your views, thoughts, and opinions in the comments section down below. Beyond that, keep it naughty. If it's naughty, then you know, and I shall see all of you legends in the next one. Peace!